Hello there everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ashes Afterglow on Apocalypse. This is map 15, The Gap, part 1. And at last, The Gap. 113 kills, 45 items, tentative. And 9 secrets, oh boy. The highest amount of secrets we've seen so far, and look! Turn style. I like the sound that it makes. This one doesn't make a sound, though, I don't think. It's actually a wall. You have to jump over it. Anyway, so yes, the gap. The most irradiated part of this whole first hub. As you can hear, our Geiger counter is clicking away. So let's waste no time. Secret number one's inside that shipping container. We're gonna go down and around, up these here stairs, and drop on down from above. Snag us a sawed-off shotgun. And go back inside, deep into here. Oh, nope, I'm still up, okay. How about back here? There we go. Get far enough away to make your Geiger counter stop clicking completely. To make your radiation go down. Now, we're going to go pretty much the same direction, only this time we're gonna go left, up this hill. Up here we have a hospital and a bank. Ooh. Scabber has to take out some funds, you know what I'm saying? So let's just, uh, boomstick all the bug dog security and get to banking. Aw, out of order. Well, shit. I can't take out any cash, but I've got $100 in scrap on me, so that's, hey, better than nothing. More bug doggies, I hear. Where could they be? Huh. Weird. Then down here we have a vault door. This door won't budge. Yeah, I'd hope so, for a door that big. Hmm. Now, it can't be opened right now, but there is a message saying that it won't budge, so surely there's a reason that message is there. Did you guys... Hang on, did they come out of here? Oh, they did. I've never seen them open this door. You usually open this door by yourself. So, there's three doors here, but two of them are slightly budged open. The budged ones you can actually open by yourself. But, uh... Yeah, usually you have to open and get the drop on the bug dogs. That's weird. Anyway, they're dead, though. Um, but yes... Yeah, listen to that Geiger counter just click, click, clicking away. My goodness. So, you know what? Let's actually go to the hospital. Candace Jenner Hospital and Medical Research Center. Sounds medical enough to me. Ooh, Coca-Cola. Too bad I don't have any quarters. All I have is junk. And I don't think I can shove screws and washers into a vending machine to make it work. Shame. So let's just root around this here hospital, see if we can take anything with us. Locked from the other side, there's a little clue for you. Examinations room, we have another bottle of painkillers that we don't need currently. So there's 30 hit points waiting in here for us in case we do need them. And Unity Trust Bank. Something tells me we'll be paying this bank another visit. But for now, let's head on into this, uh, looks like an apartment building here. Ooh. Radman, Doom Guy, Blind Date, with a Kaka Demon. Radman, Radman, Fist, He Huge, Dark Dick, Ambush. What kind of bookstore is this? My ears are too young and innocent to hear all this filth. Zone Tripper, Mark 13, $87, Ultimate Endurance. Ooh, a battery? I need a battery. Too bad this place is out of stock, it seems. And we can't necessarily build our own battery. There's a bit more to it than that, so we'll just have to find one. It says to search the city in our journal. Well, I call this a city. So let's get to searching. But before that... Yeah, we have some... Uh, obstacles. That was a miss. 
sorry, dodged. Oh, of course. We'll just boomstick the rest of these dudes. Oh, ouch, hey. Hey. That was mean. How dare you? Where are you? Whoa. You know what, that works. Yeah, this room can be a little nasty if you're caught off guard. You can be pinned in a corner really easily. Now, you probably saw his hand a few seconds ago, but... Yes, sir. Look at that, we have another cannibal overseer waiting for us way down there. Yeah, watch out for that flaming crossbow. I'm not sure exactly what they're firing at you, but it hurts. It hurts a decent amount, so do not get hit by them if you value your health. But yes, we're going to be seeing some more cannibal overseers this map. Case in point, right out here. There are two of them. Must be the brothers of the ones that we killed back at uh, Doom City Laser Tag. Fortunately. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a fair shot. <laughs> I, sh I missed my Master Blaster shot. It hits the Bug Dog instead. And then I missed my Boomstick shot, and he hits me with his crossbow. Alright, fair game, fair game. I'll let you have that, you fat bastard. Anyway. Go up here to hit the switch. That opens a door all the way down there. But if we quickly go down to this room, we are still in highly radiated territory, so we can still get rad sick out here. But, if we head on this roof, down the stairs, and back in here, we're back in this room. Or hallway. We're back in this hallway. And we'll just circle back the way we came, make sure everything is nice and reloaded. Now, you know that purge stim we found in that secret back in Undercity? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use it. Because this part here is a bit of a long stretch. A long stretch of land we have to run across. Now, it is completely possible to run across it without needing to use the purge stem, but... Eh, why risk it? Radiation sickness may not be quite as deadly in this episode, but it's still pretty deadly. I wouldn't want to mess around with it. But our safe zone... <laughs> I use that term very loosely, by the way is in this here building. But as soon as you run up these stairs... Yeah. This is no safe house. We have a cannibal overseer and four bug dogs. And I use the rest of my fuel to take out the overseer. Fortunately, my second shot, I was very close to sidestepping too early and blowing up that shot of fuel right in my face, that would not have been very pleasant. But it didn't, so that's that. And yeah, remember how, uh, who was it who said it? Was it Violet who said you have to climb from building to building? Well, that's what we're doing now. What about the crowbar? We're going to be a little silent here. That one cannibal can see us, but the others cannot. So we'll just, uh, give him a little scaver surprise. Hey, who survived that? Not allowed. Ooh, ooh, y'all cooking? What y'all cooking? Is that a human? Ew. Those look like legs. That looks like uh, the upper half of someone's arms. Man, y'all are cooking human. I know y'all called cannibals, but damn. Have some class, damn it. And there's the overseer we killed from way up there. So yeah, you can wait to kill him here if you want, but I prefer to take care of him preemptively. You can drop down there if you want. There's literally no reason to. But instead, we're going to go through here. And then down here. And just through these rubble-infested tunnels. But that's not the only thing infesting these tunnels. Yes, sir. Gas bags. And plenty of them. And not just gas bags, either. A veritable smorgasbord of enemies in here. Cannibals. Bug dogs. And two more cannibal overseers. Now be very, very careful. Because I have been picked off by those cannibal overseers plenty of times. They've never actually killed me. Thankfully. But more times than I can care to count... I have been distracted shooting the other enemies. 
And then the Overseers use that opportunity very, very efficiently to plug me with their stupid crossbows. Oh, there we go. Free entertainment. Hey, yo, Bug Dog, are you even gonna fight? There we go. You're almost dead. Now, you also want to be careful in this tunnel because you want to listen very carefully for any gas bags that might still be alive. Because I have come to the very end of this map, more than once actually, only to realize I missed one or two kills, and nine times out of ten, those kills are some straggling gas bags that I just passed somehow. I actually see one behind that bus. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I see you over there, you little sneak. But, I'll have to wait. The bug dog and the cannibal want their turn first, so... Let's give it to him. Now, where's that stupid gas bag? Where are you at? There you are. Take care of him before he flies out of you. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna use this bus as cover, because I guarantee those overseers have seen us by now. And they hurt. I would much rather not take their crossbow bolts. Oh, they hit the bug dog. Now the bug dog is very valiantly, but stupidly, yeah. <laughs> Stood no chance at all. And I'm out of fuel, so we can't use the Master Blaster. Fortunately, though, two point-blank double-barrel blasts from the sawed-off is also enough to kill them. As I just demonstrated right there. Take out whatever gas bags are left. Okay, I think... I think that's everyone. Keeping an ear out for any of that weird, like, gurgling, growling noise they make. The music being on doesn't really help, but I'm not turning it off, so... Okay, yeah, they are definitely all dead. Most excellent. Now, we are getting a tad low on the shell front, but that's okay. We'll find more. Uh, which is good, because we're going to be using <laughs> more shells. So if we go up here, there's going to be two more cannibal overseers and another gaggle of freaking bug dogs. If I can... Oh boy, they're about to... No, sir. Nope. Nah. <laughs> nuh -uh. Not today. If I gotta snipe y'all with my hand cannon, I'll do it. I'm not above doing that. Especially not in front of his stupid bug dog pets. Anything. Anything is preferable to taking that stupid crossbow. Man, how is it going past the bug dogs every single time? I guess they can't cross the bridge. Gangster time. Oh, ouch. Yep. I paid for that. Though it didn't actually hurt too much. And we have painkillers, so... Not a big deal. Okay, so... Yeah, the, the, the gap here is too big. So they can't cross this little makeshift bridge here. I've learned something today. Usually I kill them from all, like, all from right here. So, that's nice to know. Very nice to know. Alright. Make doubly sure everything is reloaded. We're about to trek back outside into the radioactive muck. Or, not really muck, but air. Go ahead and search this bombed out bus here for some armor scraps and head inside this bar right over here. And there's going to be yet another swarm of bug doggies. I killed only one? Or was that two? I think I killed... Hopefully it was two. <laughs> May have gotten a tad bit overzealous with the 9mm, but that's okay. We have plenty of it to spare. If there's anything I'm low on aside from fuel, obviously, it's shells. But we just got some more right here, so that's nice. 
And now secret number two, and you're gonna want to be quick because this is a very highly irradiated place. Run up this rubble pile here, on top of this house, and look yo! <laughs> secret stash. Yeah, the secret stash triggers before you actually get into the secret stash. But, grab all the goodies in there, and head into this theater. Ooh, wonder what's playing tonight. I read the sign, but I'm taking a lot of rads. I'd rather not. Go ahead and eat as much food as we can. Our health and armor is now back to very good territory. Hopefully I do not jinx myself, but just in case, I'll select the first aid kit. Yeah, we're gonna have three cannibals inside here. Let's see if I can perfect my crowbar tango. Now in my practice run, either the second to last or the last cannibal, like, jumped down the stairs and pinned me in this corner and <laughs> hit me like twice. It hurt pretty bad, but it did not happen this time. I was much more prepared. Go ahead and sneak some more snacks, head into this vent shaft, or duct. Throw the switch to draw the curtain. That's locked from the other side as well. And now inside here is going to be a cannibal overseer. And hiding around that corner over there, yep, a cannibal master. Alright. Master Blaster versus Master Blaster. And sawed off shotgun. Who is going to win? And one thing I find kind of weird is that the cannibal overseers don't drop any ammo when you kill them. I mean, I mean, you don't really carry any crossbow, bolt, firing weapons yourself, but... I don't know, I think they could carry something. Now, this, this is the way to go, to continue on with the level. But before we advance too far that way, secret number three is just behind this very inconspicuous wall. And that was not sarcasm, this is a... <laughs> Unless I'm just missing something, I don't see any misaligned textures or anything. For a... Yeah, I don't even know what this... What? Is that a trap door? Why is there a mannequin in here with a microphone, a pile of skulls, and a toilet? And a first aid kit. There's some weird, kinky shit going on in here. Dress rehearsal. 0600. Please read changes to following songs. I live again. Uh, overture. And get off my terrain. <laughs> I live again. Get off my train. Yep, blood references. Very nice. Ooh, snack bar. Aw, nothing left I can take. Sad. That snack bar was open, but there was just nothing there that time. Here's the door that leads back into here. That door does close behind you, by the way. And then if we go through this vent shaft carefully traverse this skinny little walkway here. Jump into another building right over here. Uh-oh. Music change. That is never a good sign. We're prepared for it. Collect everything you can find and... Damn, I'm looking good. So, this switch actually opens this door when it closes in on you, um, or closes on you, I think. I, I, I just flip the switch. <laughs> it's a switch, just flip it. Now, where we have to go is down there. Where we're going to go first is inside this elevator to get another shotgun. And then all the way over here, secret number four is this way, inside the only opened room. Now, this is not the secret just yet. It is actually through this ratty shower curtain into the pipe works. Don't fall down there. There's nothing down there for you. You can go through here or through there. Does not matter. And look at that. We're full on first aid kits. Sandra W. That's definitely a reference. Not sure which one. Is that dude farting fire? Man, weird artwork. Anyway, so that first aid kit is there for us if we need it. That door full of 
goodies. Oh man, delicious, delicious goodies. Look at that. Junk, ammo, pipe bombs, a master blaster. But who boy, if this does not scream trap, I don't know what does. Or ambush for that matter. So simply follow the hmm. this gives me an idea. Just need to find more pieces. A pig processing machine. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep note of that. But anyway, here's where the wire leads. There's the battery we need. Now all that's left to do is to find medicine. Yeah, that stem for the dealer. But anyway, let's uh, kick on some power. Now watch out. Yeah, don't let that guy catch you sleeping. Hello? Someone sounds a little angry. Now, there is a fight about to happen. And someone is, uh, someone's making a lot of noise. Inside that metal shutter is where we have to go to progress in the level, but it also hides a little army of enemies, including everyone's favorite, Cannibal Master. Now be careful, this place can actually be pretty dangerous. The Cannibal Master alone makes this a very dangerous room to be caught in because he can squeeze his way through this doorway. Oh, that was a miss. But we shall prevail. Just like that. And we have a ton of cannibals, bug dogs, and cannibal overseers just out in this big room over here. Yeah, you see that? Now this is what you call a warm reception. Blast away one. Blast away two. And three. Oh boy. Alright, come on cannibals. You can serpentine all you want. But I have the superior firepower. Whoop. Actually, I think those guys do, but they're kind of slow. We'll just burn them. Hello? Hey, there you are. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? And then we have one left who is always wandering around up there. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, didn't mean to fall off. That's okay. Come on. Whoop. Oh. Yeah, that second shot may have caught me off guard there. But that's it. This fight is done. But the music, the dramatic music, continues to play. Let's go ahead and take all this junk in here. Now, keep in mind, we have ten first aid kits still. And we have this one. Oh, you have to go into the secret again? That's stupid. So there's a first aid kit in there that we cannot grab at the moment. Now this door is closed. Um, so that is an item we will be leaving behind. Uh, if need be, we'll come back and get it, but I don't know if we will. And speaking of first aid kits, there's yet another one. That we shall also be leaving behind. We're doing... Damn, we're doing much better than my practice run right now. <laughs> Hope I don't jinx it. Boy, wouldn't that suck. Now... Let's just uh, advance, shall we? Past the uh, strobing nukage. This music is kick-ass, man. This OST just is awesome. Who's that? Oh, don't tell me. I took care of you guys back in damage control. All right, you want another round? Bring it on. That's right, the Cannibal Overlord's back. Oh, uh, really? I consider you as big as the side of a house. Does that count? So yes, I like to turn on my brute stem here. Now remember, Mr. Siamese Twin over there can and will throw pipe bombs at you. So you want to down him as quickly as you can. Come on, bring it on. No, you bring it on. Come on. Oh, man. 
There we go. Alright. So now big guy is pissed. This part of the fight is usually... Ah, oh, I can't hit him. <laughs> That's the perfect spot. He will just keep firing at me. Anyway, this part of the fight's usually easier because... Yes, he moves really quick. But he doesn't toss any explosives that can take your health down in, like, two hits. And when I say take your health down, I mean all the way down. But watch out for that gun. That gun can do some damage. This guy is basically a boss monster, after all. But, uh... This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Come on. Gotta be quicker than that. A Revenge Cinderella story cut short. So, fun fact, in my practice run, uh, Mr. Siamese Twin actually killed me. He tossed two pipe bombs, I tried to run away, and I just couldn't. I'm telling you that... <laughs> That guy can turn a fight around on you in no time flat. As well as make you drain a shit ton of your ammo. That's alright. But we're done. Now, ooh. Apartment building? Huh. Well, it looks like we have plenty to explore here. As well as a sewer pipe, it looks like. Hmm. Let's go through here first. It's dark in here. Scaver is scared of the dark. And now it's not dark. And... I've been here. Yes, we have. And who's up there waiting for us? Oh, how cute. Y'all think you're gonna trick me. Nope. Ooh! Strike! <laughs> Always love when that works out. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're in the same city that we plowed through in 2063. Only it's considerably more ravaged now than it was before, if that were even possible. And, uh, that would mean that this is the spire? This looks like where we ended that first map. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, this place is an absolute wreck. It toppled over, all right. <laughs> it toppled over something fierce. This is definitely looking familiar. Exit? What? Hmm. How? Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. What have we just stumbled on? Whatever it is, it can't be good. But, um. This is definitely a different map. Five kills and nothing else. Something tells me we're in for a bit of a shock. But what could it be? It looks like we've returned to the spire, but... So it wasn't just a nightmare. Was that... Prologue level the end of it? That scaver that looked down on us from the cliff top above? Was that Walker himself? That scene of us waking up from our so-called nightmare was that the scaver actually waking up? After Walker carried him all the way back to Terminus? While he was asleep? Did that nuclear explosion actually happen or was that part of the rad sickness taking hold? Huh. I don't know. But something tells me we'll find out. But, yeah. Looks like the gap is going to be a two-parter. Looks like we found us a little bit of a secret map. I mean, it's a level transition that's inside of a secret area. Or, sorry, a secret stash. That's secret level enough for me. So, um, yeah. 
I wonder what we'll find out in here. But that'll be for next time. Um, so, yeah, that was part one of The Gap. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or uh, night. And, um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys all when we venture back into the spire, apparently. So, yeah, I'll... Uh, Signing off for now. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.